So I was at a bar the other day. You were at a bar? Get out. Swear to God. After work. Okay. Noted. The first half of work. I, I had my phone out and somebody said, oh, is that the new Nokia Blackberry? And, uh, was, <laughs> no, Nokia stupid. Blackberry, There is right. no Nokia Blackberry. This is just a sticker I have that I got at CTI, which is a little, like, anti-smudge device. This is not a Blackberry, but it is like a Blackberry, a business phone. It's Nokia's new E71. We gave it our best of test award this year in our annual fall test issue. Give me some reasons why I would, why I would want to use your $500 Nokia instead of my $200 Apple phone. Well, you wouldn't because you're a blindly brand lawyer sycophant. What, what struck us about this phone is it's just, oh my God, hardware. It's thinner than the iPhone. You put these two together it's, like that. It's thinner, it's, it's lighter, smaller, lighter, it's smaller, and at the same time it manages to feel more substantial. This is one of the most impressive pieces of hardware I've ever seen in CE. Nokia is working off of the fifth rev of S60, which was designed before there was even really decent uh, broadband connection speeds. So it's made for a less capable phone on a less capable network. I mean, it's more tarted up than Vanessa Wildenstein. This thing has had more nips and tucks than your worst plastic surgery <laughs> case. And as a result, you get an operating system that works fine. It's presentable. It does all the things you want to do, but could really benefit from a kick the baby and the bath water out of the house kind of situation. I mean, it's great. Okay, so on paper it looks really good, but when you get down to actually using it, you're still going through the same janky menus. You're still trying to struggle with, like, function keys that, like, make the key press a number instead of a letter. And it's like, it's not, it, it just doesn't feel like a phone that's designed with human beings in mind. This like phone is not phone. for this guy. This phone, I mean, in, in a lot of circumstances, you can see it in biology, you can see it in tech, adversity breeds evolution and innovation. And the wonderful thing about S60 is that you have a lot of brilliant people modifying it to suit their needs. And so the, the, the user base for this is incredible. They have over 3.5 million registered users on Forum Nokia, and all these guys are modifying these phones to do what they want them to do. I can use this phone completely not looking. I mean, I can unlock it right here. I can hold down my task button and I can zoom down to Google Maps and I'm right there. Okay? I can I can't right do there. that with my iPhone. Right. I mean, it's the kind of thing that it's for somebody who wants to be have a higher than average level of involvement with their technology. On that token, it's not the kind of phone for somebody who just wants to surf the web to kill time. It's a very productivity oriented phone. And you have a, a really nice search function that, fun that searches not only the internet, but all of your text messages and emails. Then right down here you have, you have four voicemails and you have one text message, all right on the, on the home screen. One key access to all these things. This is from Dylan. It says, hello Joe. It's really original. <laughs> I'm a Mac. Yeah. <laughs> creative. <laughs> um, so then right. you have your, your alt, basically your alt tab essentially here. You go to your gallery. Here's a picture I took at the planetarium. Absolutely no Photoshop. Photo it's quality has really made me remarkable. when I saw the quality of the photos. That you can do some pretty producing. remarkable things with, with the photos on this. Of course, the dynamic range is not perfect. You have to have the right conditions. I'm not going to sell you iPhone user on this phone because I don't want you in my exclusive 3.5 million member club. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to stay in your... Your, you know, mass market iPhone club. Well, fine. I'm not sure I want to be in your do things the hard way and brick my phone whenever I try to, you know, mod some kind of abstruse element of its firmware on my own <laughs> because I'm a Linux weenie club. Anyways. $500, unlocked, no contract, and we gave it a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. That's an awesome phone. Yeah. But it's not for you. <laughs>「Yep. And this does not have that. It, it does not have shake to shuffle. That's but it has true. an accelerometer in it, right? It, it does something the iPod Nano can't touch. Okay, show me. I mean, it can. It the can, iPod Nano can't touch. I like that. It, you know, it, you can play games with this one that you can't even think about doing with the iPod Nano. It's, uh, for example, this is a Sport Origins game. I can uh, use it to control my little creature here. Look at this. That's yeah, quite a movie. Look good. Yeah. 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 That's uh, so you that, that's you that playing the guitar. Yep. Um, yep. So, uh, but you know, if you singer wanted, songwriter Matt Honan. Exactly. But if you wanted to watch a real TV show like this. Uh, this this fringe show here, which mm -hmm. which I, I, I almost wish uh, 
which I hadn't spent my dollar ninety nine on. But still, there are good TV shows that you can watch, and they're going to look great on this. If you're on the plane or something, it's got plenty of battery life. You don't always have to reinvent the wheel. The previous iPod Touch was a great, and sorry for the cliche, it was a great, uh, you know, it was a great device. It let you uh, do most of the things this did without the applications. You can do that with those now, but you have to pay. Um, right. But this has got a 32 gigabyte hard drive or, okay, so or that's, flash drive. That's actually. a lot of. That's actually kind of a lot of memory. Yeah. So unless you're like some sort of like BitTorrent freak, you're probably not going to max that out, right? If you go running with it, this now talks to your iPod Plus Nike equipped uh, tennis shoes. It'll track your run when you get back. You can see you know how far you've gone. Your and calories, that's that's a di that's you have different. Contest with your friends. Yeah, so that's different from the last iPod. Touch. That is different it did from not the last do that. iPod. Okay. Touch did not do okay. that. Now this uh, this won uh, best of test 2000, 2008 fall test, right? In fact, it did. Yes, it got an eight out of ten, which uh, means it's an excellent product, and you should go out and, and buy it immediately. You won't make calls, and you don't have to pay for a service plan. True, true, true. You actually save money. You do save money in the long run.